Representative Orcutt, it's day 51 of the 60-day legislative session. Last night, the House voted out a supplemental operating budget on a party-line vote. Tell us about this budget and why you voted no. Well, I have some concerns about the budget. We've got record revenue coming in. We've actually got some savings. Our caseloads have gone down, so how much we actually have to spend is reduced, coupled with the additional revenue we're getting so, from the increases the in revenue vote, forecasts since we passed the budget in June, uh, which is totals up to about a billion dollars extra that we have available to us in this budget. My concerns are with some of the language in the budget. There's language in there still to do a capital gains income tax, which is very concerning. When you have a billion dollars more to finish out your biennium, you shouldn't be needing to raise taxes. The other thing that I'm concerned about is they dip into the rainy day account. We call it the budget stabilization account, which has been approved by voters in the Constitution, so that when you're in good times, when you've got money coming in, you're forced to set that money aside so that when we have another downturn in the economy, which we know is going to happen at some point, that you have some money available so that when the downturn comes and your revenues don't come in, you've got some money there to fill in that gap. The House will be voting on its supplemental transportation budget soon. You've been directly involved with this process. Explain your role with this budget and how you will be voting on it. Well, I'm very fortunate that the chair of the House Transportation Committee puts together what she calls a budget cabinet. And what that is is she brings herself and her vice chair in, myself as a ranking member and my assistant ranking member, We get together, we look at all the requests that have been presented to us, either from the governor or various different agencies that deal with transportation and from other members, and try to figure out what is necessary, what do we really need to do before the end of the biennium, before we write the next budget in 2019. Was there a road that washed out? Is there a bridge that has degraded more than what we expected to where it's going to be unsafe before the next budget? And try to take care of those things. And that's primarily what we're trying to do. There's a few projects that are getting moved up. If we got some savings, we may be shifting some savings from one project to another project and that sort of thing. But it's generally minor changes. The biggest change, because the number looks pretty big as to the increase, but that's primarily because there was some work that didn't get done in the last biennium. And so the responsibility for doing that work and the money to do that all moves forward into this budget. And that's the the bulk of the increase. In the last 10 days of session, what should constituents be looking for? Well, some of it's what they should be looking for and some is looking out for. One of the things that I'm hoping that we can do is address the issue of no broadband in the rural areas. I had a bill to do that and I know there are some other bills out there to do that and I'm hoping that we can come up with something that will work on that. I'm concerned about things that the governor has like the low carbon fuel standard carbon tax. The House Democrats wanted a capital gains tax. They have it written into the budget, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm really concerned about those types of things, and I'm hoping that we can defeat those types of things and advance more positive things, like the rural broadband as one of them, and things that really are necessary to help the citizens and to do it within existing revenue. And I'd really like to see us do something for property tax relief. And if there's any way we can do it this year, I'd like to see us do it this year and get people some real property tax relief really soon. There are still a lot of things to do in the last 10 days, and I'm expecting some pretty long days to try and get those things done.